Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is a course on design patterns in the Java programming language. So we're going to be looking at design patterns and architecture. And this course is going to be completely free. It's going to start off free and it will remain free. And I'm going to be mostly coding in front of you and I'm going to use Eclipse, which is the free uh, Java editor and you can also use Eclipse to write in lots of other kinds of languages but it's particularly associated with Java and again it's it's free and I'm going to be writing or illustrating a lot of these concepts using Java Swing and Swing you might know is the kind of built-in uh, user interface toolkit in Java but if you don't know Swing don't worry because this isn't going to be about Swing and in fact even if you don't know Java, um, actually there's a free course, a completely free Java course on www.caveofprogramming.com which you can use to learn Java and I also have a swing course with seven free videos although the whole course isn't free but that doesn't really matter because as long as you know some Java we're not going to be actually doing swing in these tutorials as such I'm just going to use swing to illustrate design patterns so if you don't know swing don't worry. And in fact, a lot of what I go through here is going to apply not only to Java programming in general, but it's going to apply to programming in pretty much any programming language. That's not going to be absolutely true all the way through, but a lot of what we're going to look at here, although I'll illustrate it using Java, is a lot of it's going to be generic concepts in programming in general. Now I'm going to try to take a kind of top-down approach which is to say, on the whole, I'm going to try to start with kind of high-level programming concepts, the design patterns that you could use to structure your entire program. And then I'm going to work down and look at smaller and smaller design patterns until by the end of the course, I imagine we're going to be looking at lots of little design patterns that you can use to fill in the detail of your program. And I might have to deviate from that a little bit just because I'm going to try to build some actual working programs and sometimes I'm going to have to skip from a high level design pattern to a low level design pattern just to get the next step of the program done but on the whole I'll try to start with the big design patterns and work down. Now with regard to methodology I, I've always hated this business of designing a program up front using uh, boxes and triangles and things. I'm sure there's a name for this and arrows, but I don't really know what it is. So I'm, I'm not an expert on that. And although I've used UML a little bit to design software, I, I really don't like the process and I'm, I'm not the, the best person to ask about it. So although we'll be touching on methodology in this course, I won't be going into it, partly because I don't know much about it. And in fact, in the next video, I'm going to talk about my own ideas about how to design software and the, my experience of software design throughout um, the time that I worked as a software developer which is from about 1997 to 2011 when I quit to do my own thing and uh, if you want to get straight into the design patterns feel free to skip the next video and go straight on to the design patterns but if you want to know more about how uh, methodologies and software have changed over the past decade or so, then I'm going to talk about what I know about that, a little that I know about it in the next video. So that's it for this time. Join me again next time and until then, happy coding.